Hey, how's it going? This is Coach Alex today coming at you with a video on how I teach my guys to move for ground balls in the infield. So this footwork allows us to move to the ball, through the ball, and then get into our throw really efficiently. This is for routine ground balls. We should practice this almost every single day. It's very easy to practice without a baseball. Uh, so here we go. Here's how to have proper footwork with infield ground balls. So what is proper footwork for a routine forehand ground ball for an infielder? We're gonna start off just by kind of walking in place or jogging in place. Small steps, these small steps allow me to move myself a lot more athletically and more precisely. So the first thing we're gonna do here is small steps. Next, take a right foot step and then a left foot step. As I take that left foot step, I'm gonna get wider, I'm gonna get lower, and I'm gonna be ready to field the ground ball. So there, glove out front, tap the glove, see what that ground ball hitting it. Then from here, I'm gonna bring my right foot through, take my left foot step, and now I'm ready to throw. So one more time, walking on back, small steps so we can be precise, have good footwork, take our right foot step, left foot a little bit in front, notice my feet got wider, I'm down ready for the ball, field the ball, right foot, left foot up into my throw. So when we break down, when we take that first right foot step to get ready for the ball, when we break down it should be one, two, field, three, and then four. So it's four total steps to go through the entire motion. Really important, it's very effective, it's very efficient. It's the best way that we can get through a routine ground ball and get that ball on the way to its target. What I'm gonna do now is break down kind of the process from start to finish of being in a game, what we should be thinking about, how we move to a ground ball, it's hit to us, and how we get that throw on the way. So if I was playing shortstop, pitcher just got the ball back from the catcher, He's looking in for a sign. I should be thinking about if this ball is hit to me, where am I going to throw the baseball? Let's assume nobody's on base. So when that ball gets hit to me, where am I going? I'm going to first. Okay, so now I'm in my, I'm back here thinking about what I'm going to be doing. When I start, start with your thumbs up. Nobody runs with their palms to the sky. It's a pretty ineffective way to move. So when we're beginning, ready to go, thumbs nice and high here, thumbs above the fingers. And then when the pitcher begins his motion, I'm gonna take a couple creep steps. So I'm gonna go left foot, right foot, left foot. Now I can really move through the baseball. I have momentum, I'm focused, I'm in the play. So again, one more time, pitcher goes into his motion. Left foot, right foot, left foot. Now the ball gets hit to me. Okay, so again, routine ground ball. I'm moving, moving, moving. The ball comes in, right foot, left foot, field the ball. Now first base is over that way, so I'm gonna go right foot, left foot. And now that ball's on its way, and I'm gonna get my out. So now that we know the right way to move our feet through that routine ground ball, I'm going to show you what it looks like if I move them the wrong way. So I'm here, pitcher begins his motion, I know where the ball is going already, because I thought about it because I'm a good baseball player. So pitcher begins his motion, creep steps, I'm ready to go, ball gets hit, so I'm charging the ball here. So if I go left foot, right foot, and then field the ball, I'm never going to get the ball off in one step. I'm never going to be able to go field here, separate stride and throw in one step. It's virtually impossible for almost every single baseball player. It's so difficult. So what we do instead is have that good footwork. Improper footwork, what I teach against, would look like this. So charging, 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 left foot, right foot, ball hits the glove. Now I have to go left foot, right foot, and then left foot to throw the baseball. So does that extra step make a difference? It absolutely does. That extra step can be there between an out or the guy being safe. So again, one more time, Proper footwork, what I teach, coming into the baseball, right foot, left foot, field, right foot, left foot, and throw. Another thing to look out for when you're doing this drill or any kind of ground ball drill is you want to make sure that you don't jump stop. So as basketball players, we know that in basketball you're dribbling, you just take a jump, and now both feet are in the ground. What does that do? It kills your momentum, and you can use either foot as your pivot foot. So in baseball, why would it be a bad idea to jump stop? Well, like I just said, now I don't have any momentum, and momentum is key in fielding. So, if I come through the ball, jump stop, field, now I'm starting from square one in terms of momentum, now I gotta get myself going again with a right foot, left foot, and a throw. It can be effective, but it's just slower, and any time we have both feet leave the ground, we can't change direction. So, if you get a bad hop, and you're jumping, that ball's gonna get by it, okay? So again, one more time, don't jump stop. Coming through the ball, right, left field. Now if that ball takes a bad hop, I can shift weight and get back to here, or I can go over that way and go get it. It allows us to be more athletic and make more plays more consistently.
Wrapping up our proper footwork for infield routine ground balls video. Again, just a quick recap one more time. Small steps, small steps, small steps. Know where the ball is going if you're in a game situation. Ball gets hit to you. Break down right foot, left foot here, nice and wide. A little bit staggered with the feet. The ball hits the glove, right foot, left foot, and then we're up into our throw. Again, great drill that you can do at home. Anywhere that you have about uh, six feet of space that you can walk through. It's a super awesome drill, and uh, I think everyone should be doing it every single day. Um, this has been Coach Alex. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, like and subscribe is much appreciated. Hope you're staying safe and healthy, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.